in your walk with Jesus, mm -hmm. what would you say your most hardest decision you ever had to make? Man. Um, really, to be honest, I think that, like, that question is a continual thing that pops up. Yeah, because I, I know, like, it's a lot of hard decisions that you have to constantly make. Yeah. But, all right, so, like, how could I... No, but I want to answer it, though. Okay. Uh, like, that way. I think that it's a continual thing, and this is why. Because the biggest decision is following God's voice. Like, yeah. And that's the hardest decision every time it happens. Like, following God's voice. Like, what is God saying, Yak? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, see, me, bro, I'm bullheaded, bro. My oh, wife yeah. will tell you that. My pastor will tell you that. I know personally. You know that, bro. <laughs> so. When I believe something is supposed to be one way, bro, yeah. I'm bullheaded in that way, bro. That's the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the way it's going to be done. So, um, my biggest thing, and that's why I love having a relationship with, 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 with Christ, bro. You know, it's not like, a oh, I believe in God. No, it's like, bro, every day I wake up, I feel this God that I talk about. I feel Jesus in me, bro. Yeah. You know, if I don't seek his presence or spend time with him, bro, he, he lets me know, like, he hurt him because of that, bro. And it's like me and my relationship with my son now, like, it's like, bro, I get upset when my... Well, I ain't going to say upset, but I get heartbroken sometimes. You know, when my son come home from school and he's not excited to see me. Because, like, I'm excited to see him. And when he yeah. don't run to me and give me a hug and affection, you know, I feel a little heartbroken. And that's the way, like, the Holy Spirit, like, God is with, you know, like, with his people. When he has okay. a relationship with you, you know, when you are a son, a child of God, that's how God sees it, bro. It's like. When you don't wake up and, 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 you know, spend time with him and just close your eyes and say thanks, bro, that hurts him. That makes him sad. And so for me, bro, it's like that's the thing I struggle. Like that's the hardest decision for me. Like every day letting go of what I think, what Yak thinks, you know what I'm saying, and just responding to what God is telling me to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. Cause he's real, bro. And that's a, like the thing, you know, that I tell people like, yo, I'm not religious, bro. I have a relationship with this man. Like, I have a relationship with Christ, bro. Like, he's a part of me. You know what I'm saying? I can feel him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right now, I can yeah. feel him, bro. If I do something wrong, if I think a bad thought about somebody, he's immediately going to tell me, like, you know that's not right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, yeah, man, it's a beautiful situation, bro. It's a beautiful situation. I like how you put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. 